So guys, I want to do a review on boots today. Um, I have three different pairs of boots here. Um, I have the Handwags Special Forces boots. I have the Handwag Atlan GTX boot. And I have the Mendel um, Crack Mountaineering boot it's called. Uh, firstly, I'm going to look at the, these Handwag Special Forces boots. So I'll just set these two to the side. Um, I bought these boots five years ago. The, I wasn't too bothered to clean them, so I wasn't uh, just do a video on them. But I bought these boots five years ago, and they're starting to just um, go now. The, the heel starting to pick off here on um, one of the boots, and uh, all the grips starting to go, and the leather starting to crack. Now, to be completely honest, I didn't look after the boots that well. I kind of neglected them when I used to dry dry them. I probably sit them on the radiator or, or sit them near a fire and. As you know, that's not good for the leather. It dries the leather out and cracks the leather out. But even though I didn't look after them, I had them for five years, and five years is a long time. It just shows that, well, having them for five years, that you got your money's worth out of them. I paid 200 euro for them five years ago, and um, I definitely got my money's worth out of them. Um, I changed the insole in them because um, I have a bunion on my left foot, so I changed the insole in them because I used to get a bit of friction on my foot. Um, the only other thing I change is the laces because the um, there be plastic tabs here on the end of the laces. You know when you be taking the laces out to wash them. When I did want to polish them for the army or for inspection or that, you know when you be treading them through the eyelets here, they they just went in time. So I think I've used about three different sets of laces in them over the five years. But anyway, um, a quick review in the boot. Uh, Definitely a great boot for, for 200 euro. I think the retail about 180 pounds now. Um, you've got the Vibran sole here, um, quite good, quite a good sole. So it is. Um, you've got eyelets here for the for the lacing system. You've got a Gore-Tex Gore lining, which is a uh, completely waterproof. Um, you've got um, what's this called again here? You've got um, a flexible for a flexible heel. So it is. Um, let me see where else we've got. You've got holes up here, ventilation holes to uh, to let uh, sweat um, penetrate out through the leather, so your feet don't don't technically sweat. Um, I don't really know if they work, but look at who knows. But that's why they're there anyway. But um, there's not really much more I can see about the boot. Just a, they're a good strong boot. You wouldn't really twist your ankle in them. They're a good sturdy boot. And as I said, I have them five years now, and uh, definitely worth two hundred euro. So yeah. Um, so that's the Handwag Special Forces boots, definitely a good buy, look at as you can see there, just starting to pick off there now. I know you can get new um, soles put onto them if you send them where you can get new soles put onto them, but um, I'm not bothered, I, I invested in a new pair. And these are them, these are the Hang Handwag Atlan GTX boots, um, they arrived today, so they did, I ordered them two weeks ago, um, these boots retail at about... 270, 280 euro on the internet. There's no shops in Ireland here that I could find them. At. I got them for 244 euro, including postage and packaging on myhuntingshop.co.uk. So you're saving 20, 30 euro there straight away. You just have to shop about on the internet to get the best price. Um, the reason I went for these boots and not uh, another pair of special forces boots is um, I'm no longer in the army and. Um, I'm very big into mountaineer and always have been, so I've no need for the for black for the black boots. These boots here, right? Um, again, what can I say about them? Um, the Gore-Tex line. You've Gore-Tex line in, on the inside of them. You've got um, again, you've got your breathing holes here for to let uh, sweat and moisture um, come out through the boot. You've also got more holes here on the inside for the sweat and that. You've got. Um, You've got a deep pull here, and you've got your your eyelets and your deep pulls. You know for easy lacing your boots. Um, these boots, the B1 rated. I'm not sure if you know what that means. Then um, boots come in different ratings: B1, 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 B2, B3, and um, for for mountaineering and different things. These are B1 rated boots. What this means is they can take crampons. They can take B1 crampons, as you can see here at the back. They're designed for taking crampons. Um, You've got a, a high uh, rubber upper round here for um, protects the boots for you know for climbing or for rocks and that so you don't wreck the leather. It's easy. You've got uh, 
uh, heel flex here at the back, you know, to let your heel um, bend nice and easy. And it comes right up this time. This is all soft, pliable leather, so it bends nicely and it adjusts to your feet. Now, I've only hammering boots break in very easily. I just wore them around the house for a few hours today and wore them up town, and they're absolutely comfortable. Don't have a problem with them. They're not boots that you need to take out for a few days and, and break in, you know. Well, definitely not for me anyway. My feet adjust pretty quickly to them. Um, again, you've got the a vibrant sole here, so you do um, a different pattern of grip. This is kind of a um, mountaineering grip, you know, for for snow, for trekking, uh, for rocks or whatever. Um, and this is the kind of boot I require this time. This is what I want. Definitely fit very happy with the buy. Two hundred and forty-four euro. Again, you pay for what you get. Definitely top quality boot. You've also got um, an easy pull tab here for taking off the boots. And. Um, a uh, shock absorbent sole means you know um, absorbs the shock you know when, when you jump down off a, a rock or anything like that you won't feel the shock as much you will feel it but to an extent it will eliminate it and um, again they're, fu they're, they're full leather i think it's 2.6 millimeter leather that they're made up the same with the um, special forces boots and guys that's really it about the handmade atlan boots definitely a good buy definitely happy with them and you know, I might update a video in another time when I actually get to try them out on the ground and see what they're like. Um, but that's it, guys, for them boots. Uh, these boots here now, these are, these boots are old, real old. These are Mendel boots. I'm not a big Mendel fan, or um, these are actually my brother's boots, so I said I'd do a review on them anyway. The, the toe's starting to go on one of them there, as you can see. It's starting to go, I'll have to get that glue. These boots here again are Gore-Tex lined boots, so they are. Um, also have holes again for letting the sweat and moisture away. They've got a pull tab, heel fix here again for um, you know people that get sore heel fix. These are deep pull eyelet laces, you know, up here as well. The, um, you, and these boots here, you've got a high upper rand. It comes up there, but also comes round the front here too, and round the rear. The boot, therefore, kicking steps and snow, you know, to protect the leather in the boot, and you don't do stride them. These boots are B2 rated boots, whereas the Highline Atlan boot was a B B1 rated boot. So this boot here, as you can see, I try. Not even much. There's a bit of bend in it, you can see, so so it can take a B1 cramp on. These here are a B2 rated boot, and I've tried. These fucking boots are, you can't bend the soles on. So these take, these are B2 rated boot. They can take B1 and B2 crampons. Whereas that boot there can only take uh, a B1 crampon. So you can put uh, a B1 crampon on a B2 boot, but you can't put a, a C2 crampon on a B1 boot, if that makes sense. Too many near people you should understand. So that uh, definitely good boot, um, good warm boot in the snow. So it is. I only wear a um, one pair of socks, a pair of merino wool socks. You know, pretty good. I like wore these boots down to minus 10, 12 degrees, no problem for about six, seven hours, and my feet have been nice, nice and toasty, haven't got cold. Um, but for guys that are doing more technical routes, I don't know if they'll last up to minus 15, minus 20 degrees. I don't know. But um, they're an old boot, I think these are about 97, but 97 these were made, I got these in about, about 2001, so these boots have been around a long time and, and they're lasting good. Z they're B2 rated, crampon compatible, and um, that's pretty much everything about these boots guys, so if you have any questions just um, leave a question for me and I'll try to answer it. Thanks guys.